Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video now we are going to work with uh, data because in the previous one we worked with uh, card. So we designed the card. We have here the title and also a movie list with the card. Now all the cards have, have the same uh, image and also if we hover it we have the same uh, action thriller as a uh, genre. In this video now we are going to work with the data. We are going to create some uh, movies and then display the movies here okay let's open the vs code and i'm going to open the database seeder here here i have added some code and i'm going to show you one by one so first i have created this variable action and then assigned that the genre create name action and slug action also adventure and so on we have a five or six i think then we have a movie created a movie here we have the last sign lift movie create you also need to import the movie and here we have title lift slug is str slug lift overview now all the title slug overview and release date release date all is all the same for the, all the movies but I have get them from uh, the MovieDB website, okay? You can go and get more data from there. So we have title slug overview, release date. I use this carbon create from format. Then a poster path and backdrop path. As you can see, I have added lift JPEG and lift B for backdrop path dot webp. Okay, video URL is uh, this which is something similar to what we have here okay because we need mp4 also the trailer url is the same as the video url then also we i have the same as a movie but just transform that uh, series to have some series in our database so as we can see we have lift series and series create title lift slug lift overview is the same release date is the same and poster path and backdrop path is the same okay then if i scroll down because here is more data i have here lift genres attach and attach the genres action adventure uh, comedy and crime good with that now if i run the phpr design migrate flash there there's it we're going to have some data in our database so let me just open the series as you can see we have five uh, genres so we have seven and the movies so we have five also okay i'm going to clean this one here and let's close also this one i'm going to open the web routes and here we return the welcome but we added the can login, can register Laravel version and PHP version, which is by default with uh, Laravel. Now I'm going to remove them and uh, let's say uh, movies. And let me just open the terminal. I'm going to create a movie resource because we are going to work with uh, resources. I prefer to use resources. So let's say artisan make. A resource and let's name it a movie resource okay hit enter now we have that also let's create one for the genre resource and one for the series resource okay series resource and I think we're okay let's clean and let's close this now let's say movies which is going to be a movie resource not from filament but for from app http resources collection and say uh, instead of app models we need to import the movie model and we are okay let's add also the uh, series okay series here and i'm going to say serial resource from the app http resources collection 
and not movie all but here we're going to use Siri model all I think we are okay let us save this and let's open the welcome dot tsx and here we have the out but also as a prop but also we're going to have the movies now and the series because we pass here so let's say movies and series now I'm going to say here that we don't need for now the auth let's remove that and let's create this page props or welcome I'm going to create a interface for the welcome props and here I'm going to say movies and series but it's not going to be any and any I'm going to open because we have here types as you can see and index here I'm going to create two types or three let's create first the interface or export interface export interface for movie and here now we need to specify the fields which I'm going to paste it here so we have ID title slug overview poster path backdrop path release date video URL trailer URL and view count the same thing I'm going to do also for the uh, series yeah I'm going to just hit tab we have export uh, interface series ID title slug overview poster path backdrop path and release date we don't have the others here next for the genres yeah we have ID name and the slug and we are okay for that good I'm going to save this and close and now let's use here the movie type okay and it's going to be an array and also for a series it's going to be a series series type which is going to be an array also okay now here instead of page props I'm going to say uh, welcome props and yeah we need, I'm going to say welcome welcome like this good okay now we are okay go to with the welcome we get the movies and series but we don't use them as you can see we have a as a gray here so when we have a movie list I'm going to add here a title and I'm going to say uh, latest movies for example so latest movies and also I'm going to add movies which tend to be assigned the uh, movies we get here as you can see now the movies we used good we have an underline error because we don't have a title prop in movie list so let's open the movie list good and here we have to accept also the title let me just say here and movies let's create also a type here so I'm going to say interface movie list props and title is going to be string movies is going to be a uh, movie array okay now let's say movie list props and we are good here instead of hard coded title we're going to add the title and on all the cards we are going to pass a movie so instead of just saying something like this where to make a movies map and on all movie card pass the movie ID and movie single movie now here also we have another line error because on the movie card we don't have a prop so let's open let's say first this one and let's open the movie card TSX here we are going to accept a movie prop okay and let's say instead of movie any here we're going to say uh, movie type movie 
type like this and now on the source instead of the hard coded we are going to use uh, data from our database so let's say movie uh, poster path not like this but we have a poster path like this and also as alt we are going to use the title movie title good I'm going to copy this one and use also on this next image then we have this the release date so I'm going to say here uh, movie dot release date next yeah here we have the genres now I'm going to open a movie resource from app HTTP resources and here instead of just returning parent array I'm going to modify this to our needs and also I'm going to add the genres here and let's do that so okay now instead of uh, writing the code one by one with the fields I'm going to paste the code here just to save some time so I have added IT title slug overview release date poster path backdrop path and also genres using the genre resource collection and these genres okay let's close this let's save and we are okay with the movie resource now here on the genre instead of something like this I'm going to say movie genres and yeah we need also to open the movie type so let's say index dot d so we have here and we need to add also genres which is going to be genre array now if I save and close we don't have an underline error here, here and this is because we used I use a TypeScript so we have movie genres map and display this uh, paragraph with the key and the genre name and I think we are good after what to say this but let's say also the welcome.tsx and now let's see the website and we don't see anything we have an error if I inspect the element go to console yeah movies map is not a function because we don't have movies we have a data because we use resources and resources is wrapping with the data so I don't want that so for that uh, we need to open the app service provider so let's search for app service provider and here on the boot method I'm going to change that I'm going to say JSON resource without wrapping like this with the save close this and now let's come here and refresh refresh yeah now everything is working and yeah we don't see the image because I don't have added here the image so I'm going to add the images in our uh, public directory images here okay so I passed all the images and we need to go to movie card because we need to make some changes on the source directory instead of just most movie poster path because on the if I open again and let me just close this if I open again the database seeder as a poster path we have at just the name of the image we need the movies uh, sorry images slash and the name but let me open again we need the images slash the name but here we have added only the name of the of the image so now we need to modify this and I'm going to use uh, backticks sorry like this and let's say here uh, images slash dollar sign and use a poster path and now the same thing I'm going to use down there so let's just copy this and or up here let's save and let's see now yeah here we have now the list and we have action trailer here we have action thriller crime here we have uh, action adventure comedy crime here 
Okay friends, that's it all about this video. I hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a videos, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.